What is up, my friends? According to Kanye West, he's encouraging all his fans to boycott Adidas. And here's why in Kanye's words, they're raping my designs. <laughs> Stay tuned. Don't nobody go in the bathroom for about 35, 45 minutes. You know, fucked up, you know that, don't you? You got knocked the fuck out. What's that, man? There you have it. You heard it straight from Kanye West's mouth. He says that Adidas is raping his designs. What? This feud between Kanye West and Adidas is ongoing and it's not over yet. According to one article, Kanye West's beef with Adidas is far from finished, despite the fact that he recently posted a shot with his CEO, Bajorn Golden, making it seem like the Cold War had thawed. But now he's accusing the company of creative rape. Yes, creative rape. Continuing on Monday, instead of celebrating his his Vultures One album, staying at number one for the second straight week, Ye called out Adidas for selling colors of his popular Yeezy sneakers that he never approved and claiming it was using contract clauses to rape an artist one of y'all's favorite artists, clearly referring to himself. This is Kanye. And again, he's still creative in his complaints about, you know, big conglomerate Adidas trying to take yes. advantage of him. And you'll hear more about Kanye's complaints and some of these, um, you know, these next lines and some of these next articles. Kanye says Adidas is using legal loopholes and muddled language. He says legal loopholes in muddled language. See, oh, my God. Wants to take you down. They want to bring you in their territory to take you down. So he want to he want to bring all of this legal jargon, all of this stuff that's over Kanye's head, because in other words, they're assuming that big bank is going to take little bank. And that's normally how it goes. Let's see how this unfolds. Um, all right. In addition to selling him to suing him for two hundred and fifty million dollars. Kanye is asking his true fans to turn their back on the Adidas brand. Not only are they manipulating him with legal loopholes and, and muddled jargon, you know, they're also suing him for $250 million, right? According to Ye, Adidas is aggressively promoting the Yeezy boots in a new steel gray shade, but Ye says they're as fake as a $53 bill. Have you seen, ever seen a $53 bill? <laughs> Neither has I. Neither has I. They don't exist. So Kanye is basically saying these steel gray shade color boots don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Don't spend no. those hundreds and hundreds of dollars. In some cases, thousands of dollars buying these Fugazi boots that Kanye has not approved. Right? This thing is heating up. Listen, another article... Um, about this uh, situation, it, it's, it, it reads this. Listen, the tension between Kanye and Adidas has been brewing for some time now. And Kanye West has claimed Adidas is suing him for $250 million and selling fake versions of his footwear. Crazy, right? Kanye had previously partnered with the sports brand, but their deal ended in October of 2022 over his anti-Semitic and other offensive comments. Well, at least that's what Adidas said. Now, Kanye discussed on a recent Instagram post, not only are they putting out fake color shoes that are not approved, they're also suing me for $250 million. Now, there's always two sides to a story. Some people say three, but in my case, it's two. It's my truth, and that's it, right? It's only one, rather. But here's Adidas' claim. We allowed Kanye West's erratic behavior, which included allegations of anti-Semitism and sexual harassment, to go unchecked for nearly a decade until the company ended their partnership last year. Now, my problem with these remarks from Adidas is this. Why did you allow these remarks and this, these anti-Semitical uh, things to go on for 10 years unchecked? Why did you allow it? See, that's no, that doesn't let you, that's not a get out of jail free card. No, that doesn't let you off the hook. You're also guilty for allowing this to go on. The only reason you would allow this to go on is because you are benefiting as a result. 
So now you want to drop the bomb on Kanye and go after his money? $250 million after you didn't made probably four to ten times the amount of that off of him and his brand. But now because it's not beneficial to you, you want to denounce Kanye and his old behavior that you tolerated for ten years to now de denounce him and pull the carpet from under him. Listen, this is just my opinion. I'm just calling it how I see it. What are your thoughts? What are your comments? Please share. We're praying for you, Kanye. We're pulling for you, Kanye. Align with God, Kanye. Trust God. Never let go of God's unchanging hand. And you too, people, all of you out there watching, I appreciate your viewership. You also never let go of God's hand. Be blessed.